Surprises. I'll take that as a no. Bravo. A magnificent display, my lord. You were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for Akashic. We were. Put down more than a few on the road, then arrived just in time to see you slay that... whatever it was. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Though I expect you and the Guardians will be up to the challenge, should another appear. I would hope so, my lord. Your men will be bringing the bearers who'll be living here, I assume. It might be best to send word for them to come right away. Before any other unsavory characters move in. Of course. I'll send orders for them to depart immediately. Leave it with me, my lord. Without masters? No. We're the masters now. Our lives are our own at last. That's all of them. And not a single Akashek in sight. Now to begin the important work of rebuilding the place. It won't be easy. Especially not after five years of beasts and blackguards having their wicked way with the place. The masonry might still be sturdy enough, but half the beams are rotted. Those that weren't lost in the fire or burned by the bandits, that is. It'll take a bit of elbow grease. But we'll see Eastpool rise again. Just you wait. So wait. Lady Hannah is buried here. If you don't mind, I'd like Oscar to join the rebuilding efforts. He should be a part of this. Of course. I couldn't agree more. I'll let Martha know that everyone arrived safely. If you need anything more... You have only to send a Stolas. And we will, my lord. Safe travels. Eastpool is in safe hands. Time to go and tell Martha the good news. Ah, 
Ah, there you are. All went well, then. Sir Wade told me you got rid of the bandits while his lot kept an eye out. Nicely done. And what's all this about some shape-shifting nightmare showing up? On second thoughts, don't tell me. It'll only give me nightmares of my own. What matters is, you did it. And now we can build our new village! I suppose it will be. What will you call it? What else? Eastpool. Sir Wade said it best. There's plenty bad happened to that place, but that don't undo the good that happened there. No need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Did Wade say that? Well, something along those lines. Anyway, the poor souls might have made it to Eastpool, but their work ain't done yet. So the way I see it, neither is mine. If it's food or lumber or strong backs they need, the rest is ready to provide it. Thank you, Martha. No, thank you. You didn't have to help us. I wanted to. I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need. You know what you have to do. Clive, I fear that I must bid you farewell. As you know, our time grows short. The Lord Chief Justice's vultures are circling. We must strike now. Before we part, I want you to know that Though I may not always have been your most vocal ally, I trust you, as I trusted your predecessor. Thank you. I appreciate the sentiment, and I understand more than anyone how you feel. But is revenge really the answer? It is the one I found, and it is all that I have lived for since that day. But what of Lostwing? Everything you've built. I built Lostwing to achieve this aim. Once it is done, the village will have served its purpose. My comrades and I are sure of our cause, and we shall fight to the last, come what may. But there are those among us who cannot fight. Children, the elderly, bearers afflicted by the curse. I would place Lostwing in their hands if I thought it would do them any good. But a village home only to the frail and the infirm is not likely to stay a safe haven for long. And so, Clive, I find myself turning to you once more. Will you take them to your hideaway, that they might live even should Lostwing die? I will. Thank you. I will not have it said that I did not see to the well-being of those who rallied to my cause. The people I speak of have withdrawn to Goten's Bales, away from danger in case the Black Shields strike. Understood. I'll make sure they get to the hideaway safely. Then the last of my preparations are complete. Fare you well, Clive. And may Grieger guide us. All of us.
Everyone. Quinton has asked that you come with me. He can no longer guarantee your protection, but I can. There's a safe place I can take you to. Well, if that's what the Master thinks best. Sid. None of us would be standing here today if it weren't for Master Quinton. We owe him our lives. So we ain't about to start telling him what he should do with his. If he's saying we ain't safe in Lost Wing no more, it's because he ain't coming back. And if that's what has to happen, then so be it. I only hope he can see this through to the end. That we get to see justice done. I hope so too. Oi! You lot! Where's everyone else? They ain't already left, have they? They've gone with Master Quinton. Fuck! 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 What's wrong? I've just come from the Justice's Manor. We have to get Quinton to call off the attack. It ain't just the Black Shields protecting the place. He's got a guard dog and all. A fucking monster! They don't stand a chance against that thing. If I don't get the message to them, they're all gonna fucking die! No. We can't let this happen. Sid! Don't worry about us. You've got to catch up with him. We can't let Quinton die before that bastard does. All right. I'll do what I can. Where is this manor? Uh, it's way over to the east, through the woods. Heaven all, he calls it. Promise us, Sid. Promise us you'll do what you can. Let's go. Damn it. Don't tell me I'm too late. Are you all right? No. But I am alive. Which is more than I can say for my comrades. They followed me without question all the way here. And they died. For nothing. This must be the guard dog, Quinton. I'll hold it off. You go. But... Your comrades didn't die for nothing. They died for you. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. I won't. Come on, then. You're no guard dog. There's a rabid beast that needs to be put down. No! Oh, yeah. 
arrived earlier. Is it over? It is. He wept and begged for mercy. And I cut him from ear to ear, just as I dreamed of doing all these years. All my plans, building a haven in Lostwing, freeing bearers from their chains and recruiting them to my cause. It was all for this. But what is this? Justice? My faithful comrades, all those lives lost, so that I might take another. Quinton. Master Quinton! Oh, thank Grieger you're safe. You. You're alive. And so are you. I'm so sorry. I, I tried to warn you about that thing and I hate to say it but there's more bad news it's lost wing it's been flooded what Lost wing. My lost wing. And look who's here. They must have stolen in after we left, just before the flood struck. What if there are still people in there? Don't be a fool!
I need to find Quentin. Quentin. Quentin! Look at me! Thank the founder. He hasn't turned. I'm going to get you out of here. Welcome back to the land of the living. Is Lost Wing? The flood has filled the valley. I see. Then all is at an end. A strange way to achieve one's life's ambition. No, Master Quint. Save your strength. Why? All that I strove for is gone. Only emptiness remains. I... I have nothing left to live for. What the heck are you on about? You've got us, ain't you? Don't try telling me you only freed us so you could get revenge. We're more than that to you, and we all know it. I... I thought you weren't coming back. But... I prayed, and I prayed, and you did. There's got to be a reason for that, right? Can't we just go back to how it was? You know, you looking after us all. Your work ain't over yet, Master Quinton. We believed that you were the right man to lead us, and we still do. Your village may be lost, but it seems your people aren't. So long as you remain to guide them. But why? After what I... Why would anyone follow me? Because we're family, aren't we? Family? Yeah. And all our comrades who went with you, they felt the same. Lost Wing weren't just a village. It was all of us. It was. And as long as we're still here, it is too. We can start again. Build a new Lost Wing, right here in the Bales. A fresh start. One life ends, and another begins. Why just a village? We could build towns. A nation, even. What's to stop us? That's the Master Quinton we know. Please, I am nobody's master. Quinton will suffice. After all, we are family. Permit me to withdraw my request. I will no longer be needing your help in looking after my people. I'll pretend you never asked. But you must be rewarded for your efforts on our behalf. You saved my life twice over. And more besides. A bottle or two of your finest red will suffice. Of course. Nothing but the best. And I have a feeling that this year's vintage will be the finest yet. If you don't mind waiting, that is. I look forward to it.
What's happened? I can't. Please. A piece of fruit. A crust of bread. Uh, anything. If we're going to do this, we'll... Clive, your timing is impeccable. It just so happens that right at this very moment, we're in need of someone with your talents. And what talents would those be? Why, your fearlessness, and your skill with a blade. I'm listening. Well, as I'm sure you're aware, when these dark skies swept over the Republic, so too did a wave of chaos and confusion. Randalar has been particularly badly affected. Many of the capital's bearers have lost their masters, or taken the opportunity to flee them. None remain free for long, of course. Most find themselves under the protection of the Fist before they get far. But the army too is in disarray, and finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. Which means, it has been looking to sell. And you've been looking to buy, to make sure these masterless bearers remain that way. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity to free dozens more, and for an attractive price, no less. So where does my skill with a blade come in? Though we may have the funds to buy these bearers, we have nowhere to house them. So we've been searching for a place where they can be resettled. Somewhere far from the prying eyes of those who would see them enslaved once more. And we believe we have found one. Cashlock. A small hamlet hidden in a canyon. The place was abandoned a long time ago, but when the men moved out, the beasts moved in. And so we seek the aid of a fearless swordsman to encourage them to look elsewhere. You'll help, won't you? How could I refuse? Excellent. Theo? If you wouldn't mind making arrangements for the transportation of our guests, as we discussed? Of course. Leave everything with me. Sounds like you'll have your work cut out for you. I will. We have an entire village to stock and furnish. Residents and all. Even if I begin right now, I'll be working day and night. So I'd better get started. Try to clear the place out before the wagons roll in, won't you? I'll do my best. You will find the village in Cherdra's Thread, past Laitney's Cleft. My man there will open the gate for you. All right. Wish me luck. I'm sure you won't need it. You're a friend of the Crimson Caravans. Come <laughs> on. 
That's all of them. Come on, Toggle. Something the matter, Theodore. Quiet. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Thank you. Him again. Someone you know? Yes. And, uh, no. But enough about him. How did you fare down in Cashlock? It's done. The village is safe now. You made quick work of it, as always. I should go and let Eloise know. Don't let me keep you. Uh, but Clive, don't tell her I was watching her, will you? She'll only get upset. I'll explain everything once you've finished with your report. All right. We'll speak then. Eloise, I just got back from Cashlock. The village should be safe now. Thank you, Clive. Here, something for your trouble. Well then, now that you have laid the groundwork for our little project, I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. You're still in negotiations? We are. A trusted colleague has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been trickier than we anticipated. I suppose it's to be expected. This is the army we're dealing with. Fighting's what they do. But we shall emerge victorious in the end. Well, if you need any help, you know where to find me. I'm not sure I do, but thank you all the same. Ah, Clive. You wanted to talk? The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of them. Well, every trader in Darmekia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic. And they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their ranks for some time now. And... Judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. And you'd rather she didn't? I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery. And we have striven to save others like me ever since. But this was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her give up on her dreams again for my sake. She freed me from my bonds, and she must be freed from hers in turn. You're a good man, Thea. I have always been grateful for what my sister did for me, and I want to repay the favor by letting her live her own life. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. For my sake. She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. To show her that I don't need to be watched over anymore. Though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time to time. I trust that I can count on you. Always. Thank you, Clive. Well then, I had better get back to work. These bearers aren't going to move themselves. That's a job for the Crimson Caravans. This could well be the last commission the Crimson Caravans undertakes.
Cole said it was an army of Akashi. What will happen to me and the others? I'll be fine if there's cities. Clive. Allow me to educate you. Here you are. Thus ends today's lesson. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Here you are. All done? All right, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Ta for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit, um... Worried about him. And you want my advice? Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought... Maybe... I'd speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right. I'll meet you by the forge, then. You come along when you're ready. Glory to Griga. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. What's happened? Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers, if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Rodrigo is worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but... You do need to rest. I will, when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The Crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Tyre. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I... I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. 
It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvant, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. If it was me lying there, I know you'd do me the same kindness. the other ingredients by now.
Thank goodness you're back. Taya looks like she's about to collapse. Is this what you needed? Yes, it is. Thank you, Clive. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but Taya's right. Sometimes it's all we can do. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. How are you feeling? Light, mid here. <laughs> Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. I'm... so proud of you. He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigue. And you, Clive? I'll see that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents to treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless. Until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And a kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service, but my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. Bloody hell, Clive. Not this again. Oh, and you've got better things to do with your time. That remains to be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring, and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together. 
Back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Sultan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I oh, doubt no, he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride. And focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is, then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravosh, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravosh as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. Down already? No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. You ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely... I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through! All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the Chief. Yeah, I'll promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? Go on then. Much obliged. So this is Dravosht. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the Chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. He'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. 
Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. But if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our... Heap. Shut your hole. The chief will think of something. Mama, why hasn't Papa come back yet? He's helping the chief with something very important. Go back inside now. Hotter! Hotter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron! Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, Ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here. And neither are you. All right. I'm going. Please, Chief, you've got to do something. But if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Shut. Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravojd. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. We will labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy it out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravoj in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out, anyway. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of... Doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it. It's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. 
Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravorst will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by art. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows, and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, man.
Let's make this quick, shall we? Say that would be enough for a decent set of bellows. What's this all about then? Don't know. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. There should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louds to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Well, I'll be damned. I honestly didn't think it'd work. But it's hot enough, all right, and without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means? Don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Dravoshd is saved. Sorry about earlier. I, uh... I take back everything I said. That thing you built us is... an honest to God's marvel. You've saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet Cole Cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the Anvil will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed. But he took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. Well, you know what they say? Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that 
A job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's going to be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to outstay our welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltan has. Didn't see I'd nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Pick old Cinder. How'd you come by this? And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. Huh. Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. About to put Zoltan back in his place. Ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. <laughs> 